Hey, how is everybody today? Lou from RV Habit. I have a little uh, maintenance repair today. Uh, we recently went through Hurricane Ian uh, in town and it really devastated our town. The RV, however, did hold up fairly well. There was only one thing that broke on it. It was the Max Air fan. And if you know anything about Max Air fan, it, it kind of lays flat on the roof when it's closed, but it's got a long overhang. Well, unfortunately, the winds were able to get under that uh, overhang and rip it open it broke the gears and everything I'll be replacing that uh, that'll be the next video I'll probably replace that tomorrow um, but what it allowed is through that vent some rain did come in and the wind was so fierce it was blowing it into the corner of the RV right here uh, there was really no water damage or anything other than this uh, vinyl roof got a little bit wet and it actually shrunk so today I'm gonna hope to fix that I'll, let me show you what I mean by shrunk so I hope the camera can pick this up this is a one and a half inch T molding and it goes in between the seams of my vinyl ceiling every four feet so the strips are four feet wide and uh, they put a T molding to hide the seam every four feet now this got wet and shrunk Unfortunately, once it shrunk, I don't know of any way to restretch it, and it is glued up to the uh, the luon on, up on the ceiling. Now, there again, the water came from inside, not outside, and uh, I can't stretch this. So what I did was I bought a new piece of T molding that's two inches wide, and I'm going to hope to fit that right in here and cover up this seam and if I'll pull this down actually you can see it better so this is the t-molding and it fits into this metal groove here and it hides these two seams and I guess this when it was installed was cut just short enough and you could see they they could have cut this at least this is actually cut short on this side so they could have cut this an eighth inch bigger and they, at least probably five eighths of an inch maybe half an inch bigger on this side. So it was cut short to begin with and that little water was just enough to damage it. So I've purchased some new T-molding uh, that's two inches wide and we're gonna install it. So first thing I'll do is take this down. Now this is really actually very easy to, to remove. It just snaps into a metal groove up in the ceiling. And that's it to take down. Now, I do notice one thing here, if you can see it, okay? So, uh, it they call it T-molding because it looks like a T, right? So you have the top, and this is the little leg that snaps in there. This leg is really short. It looks like they cut it, so it would fit into that. Uh, the new one I have is a little bit longer, so I may need to trim that. But let's get it, and uh, we'll take a look. So I have the new T-molding. Uh, I use the old T-molding to cut the proper length. And the center, the ridge that snaps into the track was too long. When I snapped it in, it didn't go all the way in. It's too shallow and the T-molding was sticking down. So I did trim off uh, about an eighth of an inch of the T all the way down. So this should snap in fairly easy now and I got a little mallet too to help me in case it needs a little persuasion So that's it all installed and it actually looks pretty good and even if I walk a little further out you can see how nice that looks. Okay that really was not a difficult fix as I always say things in an RV always look worse than they actually are and harder to fix but most things can be tackled relatively easily and uh, relatively cheap 
Um, this you can get really anywhere, Team Holding. Uh, I mean, you can even get it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below. But uh, it solved the problem. You know, it looked really bad at first, but uh, it wasn't. The next thing is I'm going to tackle that uh, Max Air fan. I'm hoping I can just replace that motor unit. Uh, but when we tear into it, we'll see. I have all the parts uh, if I have to replace everything. Um, but as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you soon.